Full explanation and more details of liquid electrolytic capacitors. Liquid electrolytic capacitors, also known as electrolytic capacitors, are a type of capacitor widely used in electronic circuits for their high capacitance values and relatively low cost compared to other types of capacitors. They are commonly used in power supplies, audio circuits, and other applications where large capacitance values are required. Here's a detailed explanation of how liquid electrolytic capacitors work in their construction. The basic principle of a liquid electrolytic capacitor revolves around the fundamental concept of capacitance and the behavior of electric fields within a dielectric material. Capacitance. Capacitance is a measure of a capacitor's ability to store electrical energy in an electric field. It is defined as the ratio of the magnitude of stored charge, Q, on one of the capacitor's plates to the voltage, V, across those plates. Mathematically, capacitance, C, is expressed as C equals Q slash V. Dielectric. The dielectric is the material between the capacitor's plates that separates them and prevents direct electrical contact. It determines the capacitor's capacitance and its ability to withstand voltage. Different dielectric materials have varying permittivity, which affects the amount of electric flux, electric field lines per unit area, they can support. Electric field. When a voltage is applied across the plates of a capacitor, an electric field is established within the dielectric material. This electric field causes charges to accumulate on the capacitor plates with positive charge plus Q on one plate and negative charge Q on the other. Energy storage. The electric field between the capacitor plates stores energy in the form of electric potential energy. The amount of energy stored is proportional to the square of the voltage applied and inversely proportional to the capacitance. This energy can be released when needed making capacitors useful in various electronic applications. In the case of liquid electrolytic capacitors specifically, the liquid or gel-like electrolyte provides ions necessary for the formation of the electric double layer, enhancing the capacitor's capacitance. The formation of a dielectric oxide layer on the anode surface increases the effective dielectric constant, further boosting capacitance. In summary, the basic principle of a liquid electrolytic capacitor involves the storage of electrical energy in an electric field within a dielectric material. Facilitated by the separation of charge plates and the presence of an electrolytic solution or gel, the construction of a liquid electrolytic capacitor involves several key components and materials arranged in a specific configuration to maximize capacitance and performance. Here's a breakdown of the typical construction. Anode. The anode is the positive terminal of the capacitor. It is typically made of a highly pure aluminum foil that undergoes a chemical process called etching to increase its surface area. This increased surface area allows for greater capacitance. The anode foil is often coated with a thin layer of oxide to enhance its dielectric properties. Cathode. The cathode is the negative terminal of the capacitor. It is usually made of a conductive material, often a liquid or solid electrolyte. The cathode material facilitates the flow of charge carriers, ions, between the anode and cathode during charging and discharging cycles. Electrolyte. The electrolyte is a liquid or gel-like substance that fills the space between the anode and cathode. It serves several crucial functions. It provides the necessary ions, usually aluminum or tantalum ions, for the formation of the electric double layer, which contributes to the capacitance of the capacitor. It helps to maintain the conductivity between the anode and cathode, allowing for the flow of charge carriers. It participates in the chemical reactions that occur during the formation of the dielectric oxide layer on the anode surface. Dielectric oxide layer. When a voltage is applied across the capacitor during manufacturing, a thin layer of dielectric oxide forms on the surface of the anode. This dielectric oxide layer acts as the dielectric of the capacitor, separating the two plates and enabling the storage of electric charge. The formation of this oxide layer is crucial for the capacitor's operation and performance. Casing. The entire assembly is enclosed in a cylindrical or rectangular casing made of insulating material, such as aluminum or plastic. The casing protects the capacitor from environmental factors such as moisture and physical damage. It also provides mechanical support and ensures proper insulation between the capacitor's terminals. Terminal leads. The anode and cathode terminals extend from the casing, allowing for external connection to the capacitor and electronic circuits. The terminal leads are typically made of a conductive material such as copper or aluminum and are usually coated with tin or another material to enhance solderability. 
In summary, the construction of a liquid electrolytic capacitor involves an anode and cathode separated by an electrolyte, with a dielectric oxide layer forming on the anode surface. These components are enclosed in a protective casing with terminal leads for external connection, creating a compact and efficient capacitor suitable for various electronic applications. The operation of a liquid electrolytic capacitor involves the charging and discharging of its electrodes, which are separated by an electrolyte and a dielectric oxide layer. Here's a detailed explanation of how a liquid electrolytic capacitor operates. Charging When a voltage is applied across the terminals of the capacitor, the potential difference causes current to flow into the capacitor. The positive terminal of the power source, anode, is connected to the anode of the capacitor, while the negative terminal, cathode, is connected to the cathode of the capacitor. Electrons flow from the negative terminal of the power source to the cathode of the capacitor, where they accumulate. Simultaneously, positive ions from the electrolyte are attracted to the negative anode, forming a layer of positive charge on the anode surface. This accumulation of charge on the capacitor plates creates an electric field between the anode and cathode, with the dielectric oxide layer serving as the insulating material. Energy Storage As the voltage across the capacitor increases, more charge accumulates on the plates, and the electric field strength between them increases. The energy stored in the electric field is proportional to the square of the voltage across the capacitor and directly proportional to the capacitance of the capacitor. Discharging when the external voltage source is removed, the stored energy in the electric field begins to discharge. Electrons flow from the cathode of the capacitor back to the positive terminal of the power source. Meanwhile, positive ions in the electrolyte migrate toward the cathode, neutralizing the negative charge on the anode. The discharge process continues until the voltage across the capacitor reaches zero and the capacitor is fully discharged. Operation and Circuit in electronic circuits, liquid electrolytic capacitors are commonly used for filtering, coupling, and energy storage purposes. In filtering applications, they smooth out voltage fluctuations by storing and releasing electrical energy as needed. In coupling applications, they allow AC signals to pass while blocking DC signals, enabling the transfer of signals between different stages of an electronic circuit. In energy storage applications, they can temporarily store electrical energy and release it when needed such as in pulse circuits or timer circuits. In summary, the operation of a liquid electrolytic capacitor involves the accumulation and storage of electrical charge on its electrodes, separated by an electrolyte and a dielectric oxide layer. This stored energy can be discharged as needed, making liquid electrolytic capacitors essential components in various electronic circuits. Let's explore the characteristics of liquid electrolytic capacitors in more detail. Capacitance Liquid electrolytic capacitors offer high capacitance values compared to other types of capacitors, making them suitable for applications requiring large capacitance and a compact size. Capacitance values typically range from microfarads, F, to thousands of microfarads, MF, allowing for effective energy storage and filtering in various electronic circuits. Polarity Liquid electrolytic capacitors are polarized, meaning they have a positive plus symbol and negative minus symbol terminal. Incorrect polarity connection can lead to catastrophic failure as excessive reverse voltage can damage the dielectric oxide layer and cause electrolyte leakage or even explosion. Temperature dependence. The capacitance of liquid electrolytic capacitors is temperature dependent, with capacitance typically decreasing as temperature increases. Operating the capacitor within its specified temperature range is crucial for maintaining its performance and reliability. Extreme temperatures can lead to accelerated aging, decreased capacitance, and increased equivalent series resistance, ESR. Equivalent series resistance, ESR. Liquid electrolytic capacitors exhibit some internal resistance known as ESR. ESR affects the efficiency of the capacitor by dissipating energy in the form of heat, especially in high-frequency applications. Lower ESR values are desirable as they reduce power losses and improve the capacitor's performance. Leakage current. Due to imperfections in the dielectric oxide layer and other factors, liquid electrolytic capacitors may exhibit a small leakage current. Leakage current can result in power loss and affect circuit performance, particularly in low power or standby applications. Lifetime and reliability. The lifetime and reliability of liquid electrolytic capacitors depend on various factors, including temperature, voltage stress, 
and operating conditions. Over time, the electrolyte can evaporate or degrade, leading to a decrease in capacitance and an increase in ESR. Manufacturers typically specify the expected lifespan and operating conditions for their capacitors. Frequency response Liquid electrolytic capacitors may have limitations in their frequency response due to factors like ESR and parasitic inductance. They are generally not suitable for high-frequency applications where low ESR and low inductance are critical. Understanding these characteristics is essential for selecting the appropriate liquid electrolytic capacitor for specific electronic circuit requirements, ensuring optimal performance and reliability. Liquid electrolytic capacitors find applications in various electronic circuits where high capacitance values, reliability, and compact size are essential. Some common applications include Power supply filtering Liquid electrolytic capacitors are widely used in power supply circuits to filter out ripple voltage and smooth the output voltage. They help reduce noise and provide stable DC voltage for powering electronic devices. Audio amplifiers in audio circuits, especially in amplifiers and audio equipment, liquid electrolytic capacitors are used for coupling, decoupling, and filtering purposes. They help block DC voltage while allowing AC audio signals to pass through, ensuring proper signal amplification and fidelity. Signal coupling and blocking. Liquid electrolytic capacitors are used in signal coupling applications to transfer AC signals from one stage of an electronic circuit to another while blocking DC components. They help prevent DC offsets and maintain signal integrity. Voltage regulation. In voltage regulator circuits, liquid electrolytic capacitors are employed for stability and transient response. They provide energy storage to compensate for voltage fluctuations, ensuring a steady output voltage. Motor start and run capacitors. In motor control circuits, liquid electrolytic capacitors are used as start capacitors to provide the initial torque required to start the motor. They can also be used as run capacitors to improve motor efficiency and power factor. Switching power supplies. Liquid electrolytic capacitors are crucial components in switching power supply circuits. They store energy during the on time of the switching transistor and release it during the off time, helping regulate the output voltage and current. Lighting ballasts. Liquid electrolytic capacitors are used in lighting ballasts, which control the operation of fluorescent and high intensity discharge HID, lamps. They assist in maintaining stable lamp operation and reducing flicker. DC-DC converters. Liquid electrolytic capacitors are employed in DC-DC converter circuits to smooth the output voltage and filter out high-frequency noise. They help improve the efficiency and performance of the converter. Frequency filtering. In filter circuits, liquid electrolytic capacitors are used to create low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, or band-stop filters for specific frequency ranges. Timing circuits. Liquid electrolytic capacitors can be used in timing circuits, such as oscillators and timer circuits, where their capacitance value determines the frequency of operation. These are just a few examples of the diverse applications of liquid electrolytic capacitors in electronic circuits. Their high capacitance values, reliability, and compact size make them indispensable components in a wide range of electronic devices and systems.